everyone, my name is Rachel and I am a sophomore accounting major at the University of Arkansas, but I also love art and all things creative. So today I'm going to show you Beneath the Surface, right behind me, by Matt McLeod. This is a mural in Little Rock, Arkansas, my hometown. Um, more specifically, it's located in downtown Little Rock on Main Street. It's very fitting that the mural is located here because the area is known as the Creative Corridor. Main Street has seen a lot of growth recently and beneath the surface is a way to celebrate the area and attract more people to it. Cloud is a painter, a sculptor, and has done large commercial projects like this one. His gallery is actually directly across the street from beneath the surface and showcases works in his energetic color style. What's interesting about McLeod is that he did not originally pursue a career in art. He worked in advertising for 15 years after receiving a degree in 1987 from Southern Methodist University. And being laid off after 9-11 turned out to be a blessing, presenting him the opportunity to start over and pursue what he loves. And in the same way McLeod found more meaning in his life, I think he gave Little Rock more meaning with his art. In this way, the meaning of the mural is representative of McLeod's own life story and reawakening. However, McLeod's thought process in creating the piece was simply to create something bold, interesting, intriguing, vibrant, and to help the area become those things. The actual image is one McLeod had already created. It's reflective of his upbringing and way of life from growing up in Arkansas. In the construction of the mural, McLeod began by projecting the image and tracing it. Seven students from the University of Arkansas at Little Rock helped add the first steps of color. And after over a month of painting and one year of planning before that, McLeod finished his mural. The most impactful element in Beneath the Surface is color. He only uses a select few hues, red, yellow, green, blue but adjust the values to create an interesting piece, emphasize the koi, and create a feeling of space throughout the shadows. Color creates texture that you can see as scales and fins on the fish. He creates a feeling of depth in the water by using three values of green in the background. This exciting bright color is balanced by his use of repetition in the koi shapes. The excitement is reinforced by the movement in the mural as the large scale koi are floating in multiple directions. Putting beneath the surface in a historical context, it's obvious that it pulls influence from Fauvism. It aligns with its purpose to excitingly depict nature through spontaneous brush strokes, simplicity, and bright saturated color, all of which are present here. However, today it falls in the social art movement which embraces uniqueness, color, and often an alternate reality. The expansive, bold mural makes a statement and sends a message. The location of Beneath the Surface ensures attention and was chosen strategically to make an impact and social statement in Little Rock. I focused on Beneath the Surface because of my familiarity with it and also my intention to increase that familiarity. Being from Little Rock, I've seen this mural many times and remember when it was being painted. I think Beneath the Surface is very fitting for the creative corridor and really has helped improve and give new life to this area. Personally, I like this piece a lot and I appreciate its use of color and space and the fact that it's not overly realistic. Overly realistic. The colors and excitement beneath the surface envelops is one piece of the movement transforming the city and its intensity bleeds into the atmosphere and the people passing by.